May 4th at Axfold Gospel at 1034 66th Street, I'm sorry, 66th Avenue in Oakland, California. Wednesday, May 4th, Bishop J. Drew Sheards will be speaking. There will be no Bible study on May 4th. May 11th, Bible study will resume from the topic of gifted but ignorant. Wednesdays, our pastor will be hosting online Bible study. Join him live at 8 p.m. from the topic, Gifted but Ignorant. Pastor Bobby and Lady Tina would like to wish all eight birthdays a happy birthday. Amen. 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 Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, especially the elect lady, Lady Amen. Tina Smith. Amen. will be speaking, amen, at Landmark Restoration Christian Fellowship, amen. The address is 6968 61st Street in Oakland, California, starting at 6 p.m. The El Shaddai Youth Pastor Brandon Smith, amen, will be speaking at Foundation of Faith Ministries. The address is in Rancho Cordova at 6 p.m. Dress Down begins May 15th and it will end September 6th. May 21st, Bread of Life Ministries will have a formal banquet at 7 p.m. The address is 5880 District Boulevard, Suite Number 3. Every fourth Sunday will be Youth Sunday. Amen. May, amen. <laughs> Come on, you got a prayer for you. May 22nd, Overseer Jeremiah Martin, amen, will be the speaker, amen. May 22nd, pastor is requesting that the El Shaddai please join him Sunday night at 7 p.m. at Bread of Life Ministries, 5880 District Boulevard, Suite Number 3. May 29th, our pastor will be the master of ceremony at the Bread of Life Ministries, Ministries featuring Kyle Smith, amen, as the guest soldier, amen, at 5880 District Boulevard, Suite 3, at 7 p.m. May 30, 2022, will be the El Shaddai Church Picnic at the Lodot Lake. The address is 1101 West Turner Road. Praise the Lord, the El Shaddai's t shirts are on sale now, amen. Adults are $12 and children's are $7. June 5th, the El Shaddai Closure will be joining the Citadel of Praise Baptist Church at 2 p.m. at 1850 15th Street, San Pablo, California. There will be no service at El Shaddai. Please consider $100 monthly towards the building fund. Your support is appreciated. We would like to welcome all the online members and friends, and thank you for tuning in to the El Shaddai Project Facebook and YouTube channel. Congratulations to Pastor Bobby. Pastor Bobby Smith, amen, will be featured on Triumph Christian Network weekly, amen. on the road going. Amen. Wow. Pastor Bobby is requesting a hundred dollar donation for Login Tech Movo multi-camera. It's a three-pack camera so that we will be able to continue to professionalize the ministry. Amen. For the Facebook Live audience, you are welcome to give Cash App dollar sign B Smith 19744 PayPal or Vimo. Pastor Bobby and Lady Tina appreciate your giving. If you'd like to make an appointment with the pastor 
And lady, please contact the administration office at 916-586-7845. Have an amazing week in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
praying this morning and coming to church and the Lord told me, he said, you continue to protect your wife and protect your wife's ear gates and her spirit. I want to say to you sisters, if you all have drama, give, give, talk, tell your best friend about it, not Lady Tina. We're not interested in hearing anything. I need somebody to say amen. Don't approach, because if I see you approach, I'm going to rebuke you. I don't want nobody to say amen. We're, we're, in, we're in a season of our life that God's taking us where we've never been. And drama, gossip, he says, she said, y'all can keep all that with you. Amen. We're going to do what he says. I don't have nobody to say amen. Amen. I just about to clap. Leaders don't get into drama. It's not leaders. Amen. I have a very intense lesson to teach today. And so I want you to get your phones out, get your pens, get your papers out. We want to uh, thank God. The name of this broadcast, we know we have one uh, on a time of refreshing on Monday night, Mondays at 12. Amen. But this broadcast is dedicated to those that are sick, that are shut in, those that may not be able to get to church. Amen. Those that want to experience the more of God. Amen. We are the El Shaddai Church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. 267 North Mills in the city of Lodi. If you hear it, you have to move quickly. Amen. Everything we do. Thank you. That's perfect. We want to get to the teaching. It's going to bless you today. And if you have your pens, your papers, your books, you have Bibles, we want to do some teaching and see what he says to us. How many ready to hear what he has to say? Man, I don't want to use it. I want to encourage the church. Uh, those of you that, again, that are on Facebook, you guys are screaming a lot. We can't understand what you're saying. We're asking you to slow down and teach us. Go ahead and say amen. 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 You have people that are watching you. There's several and some are watching. People that are listening. I had somebody call me and said, I turned on two people and they just calm down <coughs> and hear and let the people hear. We never can elevate always being emotional. Amen. amen. They ain't ready for me. Amen. The tongues will come. The spirit will come. You don't have to work anything up. He does it on his own because it is the anointing. So those of you that have different various ministries, let me encourage you in order to be able to go further than your local living room or your local, you know, chair in front of the phone. You have to change. Or you're going to be 20 years doing the same thing. Amen. Can I help you? Can I be a father? Amen. Can I be a father? He began to teach me, son, and tell me that it's the season to father the people. And so on Friday, the Lord told me I was not prepared to go to church at all. And I heard the Lord say, you do as I tell you to do, and you do it, and you go where I say go. It doesn't matter if people are offended. It doesn't matter if they don't like it. It doesn't matter if they don't understand it. It doesn't even matter if the people, you can turn that ear off. Uh, it doesn't even matter if the people don't agree with it. As a prophet and a prophet in the Lord's church, you must go to uncomfortable places. You going to tell me that, Tina, he said, do you think that uh, Jonah wanted to go to Nineveh? Did you think that he had to pay the fare? He said, it's not about being comfortable. It's about being obedient. No. And so as we get ready for today's service, and he's putting up the title of today's message, we're going to teach from the topic, truth. And I do want to say that everyone that works in this ministry, we must professionalize. Everyone needs to be here on time and everything should move rapidly. Not rapidly as in hurry without the anointing, but all together. And then everything should move and be in unison on one accord because he has tried to help us. Amen. Amen. In these last days. So when he gave me uh, yesterday, uh, it was yesterday I was sitting waiting for my wife at a restaurant. And I was sitting there and the wait was long. I had to sit there maybe about two hours, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, just sitting, waiting, and relaxing. And while I was sitting there, the Spirit of the Lord just started pouring down on me. I was sitting in the chair, and uh, Sister Sarah began to cry. And I didn't know what I was crying about. Just crying, and just like, Lord, help me. What is it that you're trying to say to me? And so I get up, and I go outside, and I had a little nervous because I was thinking, like, if I leave, they're gonna, we're going to lose our spot. And we really wanted to eat at this particular restaurant. Well, I did at least. And I thought it was going to be amazing. It wasn't horrible. But I stayed there waiting. And so whatever. Long story short, he started dealing with my heart again. I said, okay, do I turn? Do I go? Is there something else you want me to teach? And he says, no. He says, Bobby, I want you to get up. Because today is the day that you have to decree. You've got to declare some stuff. You have to speak some things into the act. You've got to train some people. You've got to talk to some people. Glory to God. You've got to encourage and impart into some people. He said, and then my word shall rebuke some people. Amen. 
He said, but I sent my word to heal the people and transform the people. And so he begins to tell me, son, and I'm proud of you to come. Y'all been coming every Sunday. I'm so proud of y'all. Glad to see you two in the back. I love you all, Sister Talisa and Diamond. Amen. He began to tell me very, very, very strongly about change. It's not what I'm going to teach you about today. But he began to tell me, sons and daughters of the Lord, that I had to change. We had to change. And I had to allow him to change me. It's not comfortable. Amen. Sometimes you get so accustomed. That's where I'm pulling my life, Patrick, uh, back away from uh, drama and people that keep up a lot of stuff. Right. Because I found out, Prophet Wesley, that people that keep up a whole lot of stuff generally don't go anywhere. Right. Can I talk to you? People that are always in the middle of this and always in the back. He said, don't make your spirit available to drama. Don't make your spirit available for them to feel comfortable. Because when you have a spirit of entitlement, you begin to take over what's really not yours. Right. I get no help. You begin to become like a barracuda, and you become to come like a bear of the spirit, covering stuff that doesn't even that that that's not even yours. You can't release it, and you'll try to wind your way out of. Come on, or manipulate your way through. Come on, somebody. And God is saying, this is the season that you got to deal with truth. Amen. Somebody say truth. Truth. So we get this lesson, and um, he's not here to put it up yet, but God gave me a title today. And again, the title to teach sons and daughters of the Lord is All I Want Is Truth. But he be able to put it up on the screen. Thank you. All I want is truth. All I want is truth. I don't want to be lied to. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to have false judgment and false witness. And so when he began, Angie, to deal with my heart, and I, I watched the games and the manipulation of the devil. Because let me tell you how this devil works. The devil works in ways that if you don't pay close attention to the enemy, yes, Lord, I'm going to take my time. The enemy will devour you. And they will put through schemes and schemes. And, pass. and there are some people playing victim that have victimized people. And the Lord began to tell me this morning, Mother Smith, he said, I got to tell you this. I know God don't like me teaching today. He said, but you better remember what my word says. My word says you reap what you sow. I got to be helping this time. And so sometimes what we do a lot of times is we play like, oh, oh, oh. But you only reaping what you give to somebody else. Okay, you might, you, you're not going to like to teach it, but I'm going to help you. All I want is the truth. And so what that sneaky, no good, lying, conniving devil will do is that devil will try to pull you into everybody's stuff because I got to play victim to get you on my side so I can destroy somebody else. Come on, we already dealt with Absalom Tuesday, but we coming somewhere else today. Somebody say true. True. And so we find in the teachings in the, Lord church, in the Lord's church that it tells me today, Lady Tina, to just deal with a chapter and some verses. And so we're going to go to 2 Chronicles, the 18th chapter. And I'm so glad to get up this early time because I need to put some word in you today. My spirit has been very hungry for church. If you're like me, Prophet Wesley, if you're like me, sons and daughters of the Lord, just one or two times a week, sometimes it's just not enough. And I'm watching the struggle that many of you are having in the praise and in the worship because you won't press your way to Tuesday night prayer. You won't open your heart up and come and be faithful to what God has called you to be faithful to. And so you're going to continue to struggle in a ram. I want to tell you that being on Facebook is not enough. I, I got to help somebody in here. Having just, just getting three or four different people in your ears. You got to have one pastor. I ain't get no help. And if you enjoy that other pastor, then maybe that is your leader. I need somebody to say amen. Because we're supposed to be promoting our men. I don't have nobody in here to shout. We're not supposed to be on Tim's page more than we are on our page. You ain't going to like my teaching in here today. And I love that. I'm not fighting anybody. But God's pulling us. We're looking at what's happening now is we're raising bastards to the spirit. Because don't nobody want to don't nobody want to father, everybody wants mothers. Wow. We don't want strict and we don't want strategic teaching and strategic talk. So what happens in the name of the Lord is we begin to, God begins to ask us to do some things, and He begins to deal with us about somebody say truth. True. And so, uh, Lady Tina, I've been just uh, like uh, and this might be a little something for some people, but I have to say this. I know that there's a lot of people that become offended at uh, the Lord called call them Apostle uh, Gino Jenkins. 
He actually called the Lord, so he gave me that name for him. I know that he doesn't call himself that. But I've been watching and listening to a lot of his teachings. I'm not telling you do what you want to do. But a lot of the teachings of him are truth. And what happens is this generation has been lied to so much that we'd rather have lies than the truth. Can I talk in here? And so the reason why the spirit can't move is because not only do we have Absalons in our life, but we have professional hypocrites. Y'all know how to shout. You know how to run. You know how to dance. But you know it's so irritating to see the same ones running and shouting that don't live nothing the next day. Amen. They ain't ready for me. It's so irritating to me to see the same ones moving their hands, but they argue with us all day long. Y'all are hypocrites. Oh <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to tell you the truth. Because when we've been in a whole lot of stuff uh -huh. and doing a whole lot of stuff, we got to get somewhere and sit down there again. Amen. Oh, you ain't going to read. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Today's going to be itchy, but <laughs> y'all know I'm not this guy. Because I don't want to be birthed out of hypocrisy. And hypocrisy is all this praise and all this dancing. And as soon as y'all leave, y'all still hate each other. Come on. Preach. As soon as you walk out, you're still arguing and cussing. You ain't going to stop. Stop. So but you're dancing. We're going to talk about it. We'll come to church and get our quick high. I know we're going to dance. We're going to shout. We'll come and get our groove on. But you'll never change. Stop praising mm -hmm. over an evil heart. Wow, that's good. So, you need to talk to me. Let's get, because the Holy Ghost is going to move in here real strong. And he began to tell me, son, he said, I need you to stop focusing because sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, there's times where I feel the anointing pushing me, Sister Talisa, to keep going in the service, but I have those that watch their clocks or those that have their first <coughs> people, and we're trying to make the ministry like another church by where we live. This ain't that place. Mm -hmm. He began to tell me, and he, he began to tell me the minds of the people are so low, we fix our work schedule because I got to go home because work is more important than what I have to do for God. And God is saying, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to need me before it's all over. Oh, I, 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 I'm trying to tell you that I've been begging you to pray. I've been telling you to cry out to God. I've been telling you to seek me. You're going to need me before it's over. I'm not having no help in here today. So what happens is, entertainment is our life. So the church now is full of entertainment. And if I don't entertain you, we have not had church. But what has to happen now is we have to be transitioned and we have to be changed under the mighty power of the Lord. So we find now that when God begins to talk in 2 Chronicles 18 and verse 7, that's where we're starting, 2 Chronicles, the 18th chapter, and actually I'm going to start in verse 1, uh, 2 Chronicles, the 18th chapter and the first verse, let me read some things and you can write this down. Number one. A prophet's ability. Everybody said a prophet's ability. A prophet's ability. So our message today is you lied to me. You lied to me. And I don't want to be lied to. I see five mad people in here because I said what I meant, but you can be as mad as you want to. God's trying to help you from being a hypocrite. Exactly. God's trying to come after your soul from having hypocrisy. Can I teach in the house of God? I don't need no extra amens because he's talking to all of us. So stop it in the house with your messy self. I don't need your help. You see, ladies, she's sitting there quiet listening to the word. You women come subject and get in order. I don't need no extra stuff because I don't do mess over no poor people. You lied to me. And some of us are so grateful and so good for looking down on other people and seeing something about someone else that can't see anything in us. But in yourself, let me teach this word in here today. Because that's what we do. We become messy up and still try to be anointed. An amen goes to God. It doesn't go to mess. Ha! You ain't ready. I feel like shooting in this house today. When we come under and come subject. And what we've been accustomed to is to be lied to. So we rather be told lies than the truth. I'm talking to you on Facebook. All of y'all that connect up everything that said is going to somebody's house to stop them. If Jaquetta's on the line, I love you, Jaquetta. But you all know nothing in this house but holiness. Ain't gonna have no outside people stirring up nothing. I said your name. I ain't scared, y'all. 
Come on. So we're going to preach until he change us. I'm going to preach until he deliver us. We're coming into the fellowship of God and within his holy righteousness. Do you understand that the real truth of God will cause God to come down off his throne and deliver you and come see about you? It will. And so here we have a group of people, Lady Tina, that don't want to hear a real prophet. They don't want to hear what God is really saying. Because it's better for me to be lied to so my flesh can be happy. It's better for you to make me believe I'm all that than tip bags and chips when I know I don't have a prayer life. When I know I'm not seeking you like I should. When I know that I love my husband or my wife or I love my children more than I love you. And as long as I can come to church and dance and get my little fake high on and run around and I remain the same, you are right. But oh no, you ain't gonna lie to me no more, devil. You lied to me. And today I'm getting ready to get my breakthrough. I need all oh, hell in this now.
life. I ain't got no help. I don't care how much you put it together. I don't care how much you do with us. You will never be there. Come on, squad. This is a day and a season. You got to call some stuff out. You ain't going to be able to be in here now. You can buy shoes like them. You can try to get your hair like them. You can try to do everything you'll never be. But God, I connect us first in the spirit. You ain't got nobody. I know, I know. We ain't going to walk this kind of teaching. And Ahab 
kill sheep and oxen for him in abundance uh -huh. and for the people that he had with him mm -hmm. and persuaded him to go up with him to Ramoth Gilead. Mm -hmm. And Ahab, king of Israel, said unto Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, Wilt thou go with me to Ramoth Gilead? Uh -huh. And he answered him, I am as thou art. He said, Listen, I'm, yeah, wherever you go, I'll be with you. Wherever you go, I'm going to go with you. Because some of y'all follow my stuff. You follow it because you think they got the right spirit. You can't be no intercessor and messy. Because how you going to intercede? Come on, somebody, why you plant seeds? You ain't ready for me. You can't, you can't be caught up in no world of intercession and be no gossip. Because the intercessor has to be able to pray for those that are fallen. The intercessor has to have the anointing to go to get to the glories and go into the heavens and go into another place where people's lives can be transformed. Do you know that you are the ventilator in the spirit when you are in intercessor?
400 men and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? Uh -huh. And they said, Go up. For, Read that. I'm sorry for interrupting. Read it. For God will deliver it unto the king's hand. So they said, Okay. Yep. All y'all get together and go up. Because it's going to be delivered into your hands. Everybody, that's why you've been running around everywhere you go. God, you're going to take me to the depths of this message. He said, That's why everywhere they go, I allow them to get tricked. It's 20 years and there's been no change. And they're still believing what hasn't happened in 15 years. Ooh. Uh -huh. He told them because they have been trained. In the anointing, they have been trained in the gifts. I know y'all like this kind of preaching. You want to dance. But we don't really dance today. When we get delivered. I'm going to dance now in truth. I'm going to shout in the face of Call the son and say yes to God. You might as well tell him yes. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, stay. Come on, brothers, and tell them, yes, Lord. They have been tricked. And, they, and those 400 prophets had learned, this is the thing that, thank you, this is the thing that blessed me, and that the 400 prophets had learned that they had to make Ahab happy. Are you saying what God says? Are you really, are you doing what God says to? Are you just saying what makes people happy? Because some of y'all just keep people around and won't teach them the truth. Your life is a sham because of you. It ain't the church you go to as you. It ain't the people as you. And some of y'all don't understand. I don't care to, that I do care, but I'm walking in a great order and I feel it. Some of y'all minds are taking it over and over with the same stuff. And do you know what? The devil likes to make you a slave to people. Don't you want to be anointed to have your own stuff? Don't you want to be anointed to move as God has called you to move? Come on. Do you always want to be somewhere, uh, be a subject under somebody else's authority? Some of y'all 60 and 50 some years old living like children. He lied to them. He said, yeah, and remember, they made a connected point. They didn't have to begin. They said, wherever you go, I'm going to go. Whatever you do, I'm going to be with you. No, I connect you with this. I ain't connected with this. Because I'm not going to have my life messed up. Yeah. It ain't Brandon this week. That was how last week. You're going to bow with him today. Uh -huh. With your heart. And you did ain't excellent. You bow with him, don't you? Okay, everybody's scared of you and they this. Ain't you know how to be scared of people? Understand who we put over the house. He put you. So you gotta get to a place where you submit to the authority of who he put. You don't know, like this teaching in here. Lift those hands and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift them and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift them and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So he keeps talking and he keeps moving. And so here he, he tells him, read, wife. What does it say? What does it say, read? But Jehoshaphat said, uh -huh. Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? He said, uh, somebody said, wow, that was you be. That's good. Is there somebody else? Because I don't trust what he's telling me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear what they got to say. Because your prophet's always telling y'all good stuff. And you've been learned and you've been keen to live a life, a, a feeling like, God bless both of y'all, love y'all. Uh, live a life like that. If it's not nothing good, then it didn't come from God. You ain't gonna help me in here. The Lord told me to now I pray for you, Angie, because I'm snatching your life back.
the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, uh -huh. There is yet one man uh -huh. by whom we may inquire of the Lord. You read good text. But I hate him. Read that again. We're in Second Chronicles. You need where we are, Second Chronicles 7 and what, baby? 7. Second 18. Chronicles 7 and verse 18. 18 and 7. I mean 18 and 7, I'm sorry. Read. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, uh -huh. There is yet one man. <clears throat> By whom we may inquire but there's a man that I can, I can talk to. But my only issue is, I hate him. Mm. I hate that he don't listen to me. Mm. I hate that he ain't going to take that. I hate that he's not going to be a friend. I hate that he got a money. I hate that God's coming to me.
Do you know how deep I love that? Mm -hmm. It's all that you think you can know from me. You're not. Hey, Kobashi. He's taking me someplace I ain't gonna never hide. Yeah. Oh, Kobashi. Hallelujah. So you, you, is it somebody else? Because I need to go somewhere if they're gonna tell me the truth. Because yeah. I've been praising, and I've been shouting, and I've been dancing, and I've been running. Mm -hmm. I ain't never changed. Yeah. Mm hmm. Wow. They don't like this. But that's why they can't stay in the churches. Because they lie to her so long. Then she got to come back to the truth. Hey!
territory. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And the problem is this. In this house, it's hard to take the leader down. Because he can see you. It's hard to cut it off. Because he can see you cut the air off. They're cold. Thank you for being obedient. That you can cut that one off. They're cold. I'm ready to do it. And I'll finish my assignment today. Yeah. Lift your hands up and say, Lord. 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 As you scream, I say, Lord. Lord. Deliver my belly Deliver from my hustle and spirit. I don't want to be lied to. And I don't want to lie to nobody else. Come on, I'm not going to preach to y'all about how you take your misfortune and you try to put it on people that gain stuff. You cannot, or I can no help in here. You cannot gain because your body died. You cannot gain because you want sympathy. That is a demon. Come on, some of y'all can look at people in the first place. Y'all not going to like what I'm going to preach to Truth means this, because we're going to get into some stuff. Truth means 
things. The Bible, the truth exists. It's real things, events, and facts. Truth has no deception in it. Amen. You lie to out of the truth. It has no deception in it. Whenever somebody's lying to you, and they tell you how they paint a picture, one of the things they do is they play victim all the time. They'll never be able to talk to you in a conversation about what they attribute or what they did. It's always on somebody else. Yeah. Is everybody all over the world hurting you? Is everybody, come on somebody, some of y'all may go like this, you better pray to you, says, I, I, you got to really come on with me, I need all of y'all, come on, y'all, I can use your wife, my wife, I, I, I gotta say some stuff to that. Why is it that your families don't like y'all and your families don't do for you, but it's always everybody in the church? You gotta stop deceiving yourself. It's
He said, kill. Yeah. Should we kill now? Yeah. What about that? So it's going to be a spirit of jealousy. You think everybody that come up here and preach to you, you're sweet and beautiful and quiet? And my wife, if they can't get to me, they'll get to you and try to destroy me. And there's no help in here. I know sometimes it's tough being my wife because the people are grabbing it. Sometimes you say, well, they're just innocent. Let me tell you something. The property by your side of me sees that they're really not innocent. Because one thing about a snake is a snake tries to get close too fast.
Oh, I know this. Don't nobody give me no ride. Don't nobody feed me. Don't nobody do this. Oh, 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 oh pitiful for me. They don't talk about the twelve or the thirteen hundred dollars that they had that they blew. They don't have no money because they spent their money up. Right, right, right.
So like the tails are right back to their face. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to say mm -hmm. what God says. Yeah. Don't try to persuade me. Mm -hmm. Don't try to convince me. Right. Don't try to buy me. Don't try to offer me your dirty money. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be your cook. I'm not going to be your nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be your slave driver. Mm -hmm. Shandalasi. He called out a Moshanda. He said, I'm only going to prophesy what God says. And I talk in this house, you must be in this evil day and time willing not to be a liar. Brilliant. Willing to go against all odds. I don't care that everybody preaching that everything is all right. I'm going to tell y'all something today that God, something is coming to America. Yeah. 
mothers of the prophets and prophetess today. Say it.
in prayer for me. She can't be so preoccupied and busy. Tom got to learn to drive because she got some days to pray, some days to labor in prayer for her husband. Y'all don't like the teachers, but it's the truth. It ain't time for me to be all over the place. And she can't go. It ain't no longer her choice. It's my order. I ain't got no help. Because see, one of the things that the world likes is the world likes the take down. No, no, the world likes that. That makes them happy. Of God, until you honor who God has put over you. 
Yeah. Some of you women don't never stop talking that. Y'all argue on the argue, always fussing. You ain't never supposed to be running to be with nobody and no other man more than you with your own husband. Right. How you gonna be great helping somebody else if you can't help who you got? Right. Amen. I don't get nobody to say amen. Right. Come on, somebody. I ain't got nobody to say amen. Lady Tina needs to make sure everything is good for Pastor Bob. This should be nobody. Hey, listen, you have not go around here to ask nothing to me. If she said don't give it to me, I can't have it. I ain't got nobody to shout at this house. We got a mixed message in the church because we got a bunch of water.
And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying, After this manner, and after, and another saying, After that manner. Who will entice him? Because we got to trick him. Who will entice him? Are you carrying the spirit of entice? Mm -hmm. Are you wiggling to entice him? Are you talking soft on the phone to entice him? Are you playing victim to the task? Because some of y'all just want any attention, any attention. You, just want it. you don't even care that it's somebody else's husband. Hmm. You ain't ready. She ain't lying, she just lies. Well, if Lady Tina, if I was Lady Tina, and when I ain't a and I do this, guess what? That's why you ain't Lady Tina. Yeah. He picked Tina, and I knew. I ain't get no help. Right. You can go buy shoes like her, but you can't walk in the shoes like her. Because right. he put it in her. For us, I'm going to preach it here. You ain't ready. I'm going to talk to you in, in a real way now. This is, this is true. Because the church is being messed up. Because we got a lot of pew pastors. We got a lot of people that are sitting down in the pews telling what should be going on and don't understand the wisdom behind. You know what makes me who I am is because of who she is. She prayed 20 years before she got here. So why are you trying to force her to back in the prayer again? Get in, shut in yourself. Stop being a baby. You a grown woman. Ain't nobody got to carry you to shut in. Shut in your dirty house. Clean it up first. Amen. Clean your room up. Wash your clothes. Put your clothes away. Vacuum the floor. Wipe the counters off. Then shut in. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? What? So the spirit came out now. It was a spirit. It wasn't the spirit of God. But Brother Wesley, it came out to go and type. Go mess him up because that's what they're like anyway. What's being released? The Lord began to tell me prophetically as I teach this message that what's being released in the earth realm? Hmm. Uh huh. You being told some stuff and you being pushed in some stuff that's not true. That's why I don't get scared when I come against fake stuff. Because I've always been a person that goes against the grain. So I've always been a person that I need no help in the order to stand against what I don't believe. I ain't got no help in here. So I'm not trying to be anybody's friend. If I know it's a lie, it's a lie. Mm -hmm. You can't never hardly pray and then just prophesy. Because the pro you got to spend a lot of time in prayer to tell people stuff. Amen. Unless we gonna move into a spirit of division and a spirit of sorcery. And the scary thing about church now is churches that have a lot of folks telling them stuff is always people coming. They're not coming to go to church. They're coming to be the told things. Huh. She don't never get a show to me. You got the Bible. Right. You got the word. Exactly. Read it and close it. I'm giving them a minute. It's about 20 of you today. Come on, y'all play soft and make it ready. Real soft and one, two, loud. Read. And he said, I will go off. out. Turn the air off first. Uh -huh. go. I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said. He going to do what, Tina? He going to go out and now I'm going to deceive you. And I'm going to be a lying spirit in the mouth of all of his prophets so they can all be tricked. How many of y'all believe in something that ain't never been how many of y'all got some words over your life that never came to pass because it wasn't even the truth? How many of you shouted and danced and ran over some stuff that never was the truth? You know why God gave you your husband? You know why you did it? Because you believed that it was the truth. See, let me tell you something about the anointing. The anointing validates it on itself. You don't have to force anybody to believe who you are. It doesn't matter. I was thinking the other day, uh, this was yesterday, I was saying how there's certain people I know, and a certain person tells them something, and I was fall out, and the tears come instantly. And the Lord began to tell me, he said, because they don't validate, validate what's in you. <laughs> See, sometimes you can be amongst people that are not validating who you really are. They don't really believe in you. They don't believe in what God is really doing through you. You ain't got no help. Oh, can I talk to some people in here that got saved husbands? I'm not talking about the ones that are not.
God. But you need, you have a saved husband that you know is praying and seeking God. You should be encouraging that man to God. You should be strengthening. You should be thinking, honey, I'm there with you. You always walk around with an attitude with everybody. Let me tell y'all something. The day I'm always trying to preach to y'all men to cater to these rebellious women is over for me. The women have to do something for the men too. I ain't got no help up in here. Person. 
show you what happened in my life because it was righteous. Pretty much today, 4.30, I'm done with this. I'm going to the next part of the service for 30 minutes, please. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, uh -huh, yeah. and thou shalt also prevail. So the Lord told him to entice. Why y'all saying it wasn't the devil, it was the devil? There's a spirit of enticing that can come from God. The Lord brought trouble to you. And sorrow. And grief. I will lie to you. Because you're so emotional. And you don't want to hear truth. You don't want to deal with truth. So I'm going to let you keep shopping, dancing, and all your emotions. Read. Finish it. I got a prophesy to you, Diamond. Hey, my sweet, he on that, my soul. I got a prophesy to you. Hey, la, 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 shame. Read. Do it well, wife. Read. Go out and do even so. Uh -huh. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord has the Lord put. Lift your hands and say, the Lord did it. The Lord did it. You lied to me. I know you was thinking about that person that prophesied to you. I know that you were thinking about this, but the Lord became deception. The Lord became trickery. Because you trained up your bill like prophets. You taught them to honor what I dishonored. I love the bullshit. Turn that air off. You taught them bitters off. Like Bush and Hope of the thank you. A little more shot. You taught him, thank you. The same things. Lift those hands and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on and say yes, Lord. Yes, come on, Lord. come on, come on. Come on, don't you get tired yet? Don't you get weary yet? <laughs> say yes. Come on. And now the Lord changes from his deity of righteousness. It changes from his deity of holiness to become a lion spirit. I gotta trick you. I gotta trick you. I gotta trick the emotional part of you because you're so emotional. You don't want to listen to truth. Because everything about your life is about your feelings. I feel. I feel. I feel. And God said, "Kill it all." God's going down with you. Because they just all been running around and married and giving it marriage and ain't nobody saying it together. I ain't that nobody tell me a dinner part. I'm telling you, I ain't. Somebody say, why you just say Because when I feel so, I'm the same way at home. I'm the same way everywhere. Y'all believe I'm a different person? I'm not. The only difference is that old man that was alive 20 years ago, he ain't there no more. It's another one. Hey, so when I get in the office and I walk in, I don't do no whole lot of talking because I ain't been there to be nobody friend. Yeah. Hey. I miss the days that you were there because we could get in the spirit. How was a bunch of fussing and a bunch of garbage? But I remember when me and you and Patrick, hey, we'd be in there, we'd get to pray to God, but we'd get to pray. We ain't had that kind of stuff happen because it's all kind of drama. Come on. Yeah. How many of you don't shut up about how
night here. Makes me real mad. Shout out to Jose. You mothers that don't protect your children. Jesus. You love the pastor when you love your children. My God. You love them church people. They gonna call me with your drunk. Jeez. Put it on there. Thank I ain't getting a part of it. Come on, somebody. Because this is the day that yeah. God's gonna snatch illegal preachers out of the pulpit. Yeah. You get ready to see death like you got. You get ready to see death like you've never seen it before. You'll go to church and they'll drop dead right in the pulpit. God said, I'm tired now.
Hoko by Sunday. Y'all keep on pushing. And you don't know who I am. Hola by Say. Rakala by Shunda. Hoko by Sea. Yes, Lord. You belong to the Lord, you hear me? Yes. I don't love you, give me love. Clap your hands.
Uh-huh. <laughs> you call me. I need you to shout devil. devil. No, that's talking. I said shout devil. devil. Shout devil. devil. You shall see.
Anybody remember the verse? 25. 45? 25. 25? So she said it read. Then the king of Israel said, take Mike, uh, Micaiah and return him to Am Amon. This is the part I want y'all to see. Take him and give him to the dad. So come here, boy. Come here, son. That's a Come here. Go fast. So you take him. Hold on, sit in my chair. You take him. Read. What does it say? The governor of the city uh -huh. and to jo Joash, uh -huh. the king's son. Uh -huh. And say thus, says the king, uh -huh. put this fellow in prison. Take you, because and you ain't got nothing but spoke what God said. Mm -hmm. And God said what they'll do to your gift and they'll do to your life is they'll put you in a spiritual prison. Jeez. You ain't ready to run. You ain't ready. Y'all don't even know when to holler. You don't know when to leave. So now I ain't got nothing to say what God said. So now I got to go through all this hell. I got to go through all this turmoil. I got to go through all this dislike. But take you to the people that are just like you and try to bind them. I dare somebody prophetic to say you can't bind me because you might put me in jail while my spirit is still being taught. Right. Ain't no help in here. 
Obviously, I hate them. So we'll have to be connected. Mm -hmm. We should be connected. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That's when your connections become illegal. Because you want to collect and connect in an illegal way. We can't be. Righteous never connects with darkness. But they fed me with affliction reading. Uh huh, I heard you say it's a long message. Yes, it is. We're going to get all the way to 34. So when you leave out here today, you can disconnect. Today, some of y'all got to say bye bye to some people. That's it. Today you gotta say, I'm sorry, I love you, I, I, I cherish you, but today I'm walking away. It's deuces today. Today it's over. Some of them got in church, some of them are family members, some of some people, you know, today you gotta cut the cord. Thank you, Tyler. I saw you in the story, Tyler, and uh, what was that? Target. I like Tyler, he's nice. You gotta say goodbye to some people. Some of you gotta say goodbye to some relationships. So it's not that big. <laughs> Today you gotta say goodbye to your hidden lover. Because some of y'all fighting with everybody in the church today, you need to be fighting and arguing with who's behind the door. That's right. Who's on the other side. That's right. Because it ain't all about the church, it's about some real connections outside of the church. And we just make you mad because we stand for righteousness. And let me tell you something about the spirit. It only gets irritated and agitated when it can't get what it wants. Right. Amen. I ain't gonna be mad over no man in this church because I got the prettiest wife to be in the whole wide world. Amen. So I don't have to be with nobody. I gotta talk to nobody because I got her to talk to. I don't even allow my children to do nothing for me. They come and ask me, I said, your mama take care of me. Get away from me. <laughs> in the office, and she ain't even in the office. I said, I don't need nothing. My wife will do it. She'll drive down here and take. Why? Because that's what I that's what I love. In the hospital, they can't feed me, they can't help me. No. I'll wait till she comes. Because she's my wife. Lady asked me, I said, no, thank you, Sister Christopher. Like, that's how I am. I'm, I'm a big baby. She said, what? I said, she'll bring me my food. I've been here 31 years. I don't need nothing from you. Mm -hmm. I ain't no help in here. That's the way it's supposed to be. Marriage and love have no comparison. Nobody else should ever be able to do more than that other person, than the person you get married to. Somebody texted me the other day and said, what you going to do for Mother's Day? And I began to tell the individual, I said, doing this and this and this. I was happy. I got in the spirit. They didn't tell you yesterday. This gift worked real strong. I was talking to Anne yesterday. And she kind of laughed about it. We began to talk about the announcements. And I said, I, I don't care. We begin to talk about husband and wife. How was that? And doing that. And I said, I feel a spirit in this. I said, I ain't gonna feel no spirits in this church when we talk about husbands and wives, because it's a normal church. Amen. I ain't got no help up in here. Amen. And I'm not gonna feel bad if somebody don't have one. That's your problem. I ain't no help. I can feel stuff in my me. Take me to another level. Start talking about marriage, husband, and wife. It's another spirit that comes. You ain't gonna clap us down. I'll break out every time. It go by Shanda. Hallelujah. I told my wife today, I said, we ain't going out with nobody but me and you. We've been with somebody every day. Today we going to our buy stuff to the fairway, eat with nobody with that. I brought the clothes so we can change and be alone. Because that's who I love. I ain't got no help up in the house. Yeah. Somebody don't carry the job. I got no breath in the kitchen. Say, you just so sentimental. Get you somebody. You ain't had nobody 10 days. We've been together 31 years. There's right. cinnamon in this food. Amen. Can I help you? Pastor Bobby, every time you leave, yep, I'm, I'm happy. Because I'm killing everything that when I leave, I want to be with her. That's why I flew down for one day. Come on, somebody. I ain't in adultery. I ain't in fornication. I got everything I need in her. I don't care if she's downstairs. I don't care if I just have to say, hey, can we have some soup? Say it Amen. Amen. Y'all miserable because you ain't never had nobody to love you. Hmm. You'll get some love like this. We've been together since we're 14. You can't compare. That's a long time. When she came at me, she said, we've been together so long, we need a divorce. <laughs> she said, man, we just need to get divorced. <laughs> I'm sick of you. I said, well, I ain't never don't understand that kind of divorce. Because when you divorce me, I'll still be laying on your porch. <laughs> you Every church you go to, I'll be sitting up in the church right next to you. You ain't going to help me. You, you got it this book. You got the only thing going to separate me from you is death. Right. And if the Holy Ghost is powerful, I'll wake up. 
because I've been scared in the house. They don't let them out. You'd be scared to get, he'd have to get in my own house and do everything. Uh huh. All right. I got those cups. All right. I'm finishing that. That's done. Is that all of that? Read that. Read it out. That's done. Read it. Finish it. That's done. Go to Prophet 75. And water of affliction until I return to me. What are you talking about that? Now, how do you get affliction in water? They don't put nails in the water. Y'all have people that's been afflicted on the water. That's why you can't be taking people food. That's why they always offer you something to eat. Don't, don't ever eat from your meat. <laughs> they spend it to you as beans and spaghetti. <laughs> 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 Anything that got water or soup, you red. They can mess you up. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at you, Ali. Y'all look like twins. Gotta be careful. Because they ain't been here. He didn't do nothing. That's why they always ask me, Pastor Bobby, do you want some meat? No. Angie, don't get it. I don't let nobody fix nothing else. You know why? Because I know Angie loves both of us. So you got some women that got spirits that want to buy you stuff and fix you stuff because they buy, believe they man. I got no help. He gonna laugh at this. Can I tell this testimony? You gonna laugh? I can't. I can't. I don't do it anyway. <laughs> what can I do? She don't know about this, but you cannot punch him when I tell you this. <laughs> he can do nothing. When we were at the office, when at the office and he was working, came down there. This was when we before the church burned all the way down to the ground. And there was one she walked up. She said, "I want to go get Wesley something to eat, and I want to do this, and I want to do that." I was just walking around there, the Holy Ghost hit me. Ha! And they said, oh, that's going to And what's this? And what's this? And I walked right over the way there was. I said, sister, the Lord told me to tell you that's his wife. Sure did. You ain't going to be his wife. Hmm. We ain't going down to my office to be married to you. I ain't going to be your work man. Ooh. And if 
she don't want to put you in that <laughs> That's all of it. She don't want to read no more. She's not just that all of it. That's why I tell you you have to go. That's why Sarah got to go where you go. I'm going to put you here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah looking like, okay, where are you going to get me there? No. But now you start to go all over. Because what they'll do is, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I got to get the baby. All the baby this. And you'll just start falling. Oh, the baby this. And all of a sudden, there's somebody sitting out there saying, oh, you preach so well. Uh -huh. Come on. Y'all right. was at that revival. I don't care if I'm on camera. Where, where at you at? In the bathroom. Where am I? In. That woman that kept on laying hands. I, I went home and told my wife, what did I do? What did I do? I had just pushed her. What did I do? She can't remember. I went to Angie Cup. <laughs> you don't remember? When she kept on laying hands with me at work, I said, sister, you're going to have a seat. Huh. I'm a married man. Right. And I don't want my wife to look on camera and see us working together. Amen. I ain't got no help up in this house. I ain't got no help. I ain't got no, I ain't got no help up in here. Because she was looking for a man. They don't care that you out there. Come on. And my life will be fed with the bread and the water of affliction. <laughs> you remember, Angie, in that revival?